WRSR, Owasso Flint. The following program has been pre-recorded and is paid for by Discover Flint Township. The views expressed are those of Discover Flint Township and do not necessarily reflect the views of 103.9 The Fox or Krill Communications, Inc. Welcome to Discover Flint Township, a program showcasing our local community. Flint Township is ready for your next move. And now, your host, Flint Township Economic Enhancement Director, Tracy Tucker. I'm Tracy Tucker, and this is Discover Flint Township, brought to you by the Flint Township Economic Development Authorities, HAP, Financial Plus Credit Union, and Shea Automotive Group, and 103.9 Vox, where we're sitting today. Uh, this morning, I have my good friend here, at least I call her that. I don't know if she'd Absolutely. call me that. But <laughs> <laughs> Anything but late for dinner. Right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have Bridget Hollingsworth Stafford here from HAP. And we are just going to talk about what's been happening in the HAP world and some of the great events they've been involved in. You know, Genesee County has seen some major events over the last couple of weeks. And so we just want to bring everybody up to speed on what's been happening. So, yeah, so many great things happening. We're still recovering from the crim. Uh What a wonderful day that turned out to be, despite the heat. Oh, it was hot. Yeah, we had a lot of people who either decided to take it easy uh, mm-hmm. One of the things about the CRIM in, in the training programs, they always tell you if the temperature is above a certain level mm-hmm. um, for your training run, you should plan to do half of what you initially planned. Okay. And so we had a lot of people like in my personal running group who said, you know, I'm going to walk today. I'm not going to run. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had others who said, I'm going to start early. You know, they did change or make it a little bit more open so people could start the race okay. whenever, you know, within a, a broader time frame. I think that helped some people because they were able to run earlier in a little bit less heat of the mm-hmm. day. But I feel like all in all, there were so many wonderful experiences and stories that came sure. out of the crim this year, despite the heat, that we're super thrilled with how things went. That's great. And they had, didn't they have some new routes this year, too? Yeah, they did especially the 10 mile route changed a little bit um, partly due to some street you know construction and so forth but Mm -hmm. uh, runners were taken through some new neighborhoods in Flint and I think I had some feedback from people you know they didn't know that that neighborhood was there and (laughs) so it's kind of cool because that is one of the great things I think about the crim it exposes people to Flint who've never really um, a lot of whom have never really been here and so to be able to show off a little bit and to uh, good or bad all they hear is what's on the news right right right. (laughs) So that was that was awesome. We had really great engagement. We we came up with some fun giveaways that people really, really latched on to. And so that was fun. You know, we were famous for kind of the cooling towel things. People were getting a kick out of that. Um, And honestly, just seeing the the people back again on the right. route on the flat lot is is just i think a great sign and symbol for you know let's let's be safe and let's be careful but let's get back together and let's keep doing things that are going to keep us active and healthy yeah your your giveaways brings to mind <laughs> another story of an event. I don't know, were, were you guys involved in the Ally Challenge or no? Oh. <laughs> you got request, You got a request right, to provide yes. um, some tchotchkes or, right. you know, some giveaways. And your cooling towels made all the rage. They did. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and tell well, the you story? Know, yeah, I really owe some kudos to Leela Forrest, and she's the president of the Grand Blank Chamber of Commerce, right. and she's a good friend and a great supporter of HAP, and she noticed the cooling towels at the crim and had this wonderful brainstorm idea. I think those would go over great at the golf tournament today. Uh, yep. And so we said, well, sure, take some along with you. And within an hour or two, she texted me, and she's like, oh, these are going like hotcakes. People love it. And so um, this was kind of funny, Tracy. So I <laughs> I was at the crim at that time, and of course, all of our uh-huh. leadership team was there. And and so I asked our CEO, Mike Janor, Doctor Mike uh-huh. Janor. I said, "Hey, Doc, can you help me?" Like, so I basically <laughs> had the CEO loading my car with stuff, and uh, and uh, so long story short, I was able to get more of the cooling towels out there to Lee at the uh, Ally Challenge, and yeah, they were a super big hit. And who to thunk with you know the weather being so hot? But yeah, yeah. that was a a great well, kind of uh, what I heard was it wasn't just the uh, fans that were using your cooling towels. Right. I got a text. It's like, dude, 
<laughs> she said every player, every caddy, every um, sign holder is using those. I'm like, oh boy. Yeah, so, so those are the, uh, the accidental awesome. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got some good mileage out of that. Yeah, and, uh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. and we're actually prepping for some more events here um, that we're going to, you know, go with that sort of thing. So, okay. you know, we also had another super awesome event last week, Wayne the Barber, who a lot of folks know. Mm -hmm. um, not only is he uh, an awesome barber, but he is a great um, person who is helping young people find ways to use their talents. He sure. had an awesome back to school event where we, uh, it was, a, you know, get your backpack, mm -hmm. get your haircut, get ready for school. And, uh, and HAP, you know, HAP Empowered with our Medicaid brand especially, we were thrilled to be there, had some awesome interactions and so many kids left, you know, ready for school. And that's just really kind of what we're here for. Sometimes these things sort of happen by accident. Sometimes right. there's a grand plan, but ultimately sure. we are here and, and one of our taglines, HAP is here. Mm -hmm. HAP is here to address needs in the community. And mm -hmm. if we can find ways to help people get food, we can find ways to help get safe and affordable housing, if we can help uh, people get job training, they're going to be a better, uh, better able to focus on things like getting a mammogram or getting a checkup. If sure. you don't know where your next meal is coming from, a mammogram isn't on your top 10 list, right? right? Yeah, exactly. So a lot exactly. of what, what we focus on is trying to help make sure that those basic needs are being met. And help people, you know, avoid heat exhaustion. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, we've already had requests from other agencies. Hey, that'd be a great thing for us to have for our events. So I, I think we, but we struck you're right, though. I mean, I, I'm making light of the cooling towel, uh, towel issue, but when you you need to have your basic needs met before you can worry about future needs, right? Exactly. And so a lot of people, if they if they don't know where their next meal is coming from, they're not worrying about 20 down, years down the road, they might get something that's inoperable if they don't take preventative measures now, right? Right. So. And that's why it is so important to address those basic needs to make sure that we right. have partners in the community that can help us address them. Obviously, we're a health insurance company. We don't have food available, but right. we have partners. You right. know, the the uh, Food Bank of Eastern Michigan, we work so closely right. with. We help with the senior food boxes to make mm -hmm. sure that the seniors in our community have um, access to healthy food. Yeah. Um, and it's just really a, an offshoot of what we're we're doing in terms of, you know, we do a lot more than just pay medical claims when they come in. Oh, exactly. I mean, HAP's always been a great uh, community partner and whenever we've needed um, uh, help and resources to help bring things to our residents, um, HAP, HAP has always stepped up. So, um, th so we had the CRIM, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. the Ally Challenge, mm -hmm. uh, we had Back to the Bricks, right. just happened. Now we got... Uh, uh, bikes on the bricks is right. coming up and we'll we'll talk more about that later and then we start into our fall stuff kids going back to school and all that and we've got uh another event that's coming up and we'll probably give it a, a couple minutes and we'll get to that because i want to end the show with that but we're we have um the salute the troops coming. I, I let's go ahead and talk about it now. We okay. had we had uh we've got an event that uh Discover Flint Township is working with HAP and uh HAP is working with uh one oh three point nine the Fox. Right. They're working with um um uh, veterans uh, services of Genesee County and all the veterans groups in the area and and I mean you can talk a little bit more about that but in this time of year, and especially with everything that's went on um, uh, around the world, it, it's such, it's a great time to show your appreciation for veterans and the active duty military that's out there. And we are doing an event called Salute the Troops, right? Right. That's going to be at the HAP office. Uh, that's at the corner of Linden and Corona Roads in beautiful Flint Township. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and what we've done, and I know uh, most of you guys in the listening audience today have heard about this promo at WRSR. Mm -hmm. And we are looking, we're blowing it up a little. We're, yeah. we're taking it to the next level. That's kind of how we roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. take an idea and we might uh, expand it. So we are obviously a sponsor of the official Salute the Troops promotion uh, right. on the Fox. But we've decided to take a little bit um, a little bit more and, and create kind of a resource fair 
for mm-hmm. veterans in the area. Yeah. Um, and one of the ways for right now that, that the listeners can get involved, we hear over and over that troops that are um, stationed throughout the world, one of the first things that they need, one of the things that makes their day better, believe it or not, is a fresh pair of socks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who'd have thunk, right? <laughs> yeah. Now we're running around barefoot, yeah. right? <laughs> exactly. But our troops around the country, around the world, need socks. So right. we, as part of this event, we are going to collect socks, preferably new. Well, they have to be new. Preferably dark colored socks. Apparently yeah. that's a request. Yeah. Dark colored On the calf, socks. Not not yeah. Yes. Not, not footies. So yeah. like, you know, full length or knee length socks uh, for the troops. We will have a collection uh, uh, box it, at our office at Lennon and Corona Roads. That should be up by this week. So prior to our event, um, which is on September 25th, you could stop by the HAP office at Lennon and Corona, drop off some brand new socks that will help um, for the troops that are stationed around the yeah, world. Yeah, and that's during office hours. Right. Because oh, they'll be bringing it in exactly. at night. Exactly. Yes, our so security team is there um, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Mm-hmm. We'll have a drop box in our lobby. Mm-hmm. You are welcome to stop by during business hours, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Drop off socks right. for the troops. And then uh, get you'll get more info about the event coming up on September 25th. Yeah, and this is an event that uh, actually 103.9 The Fox started. It was they did these banners that they took around to events and had v- events that uh, revolved around these banners thanking the troops. And they get signatures on them, and then they send them off uh, to the troops wherever they are. And they try to concentrate on uh, uh, Michigan uh, groups. This one, I I guess, is going, is targeted for the USS Michigan. Yep. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) So we got that Michigan connection in there. And they will have that there for people to sign and to send. And then they're going to have all kinds of things there. And like I said, we're going to do another show on this. We're going to uh, do a show um, in two weeks, right? Um, yeah, we'll have more details on it coming up. But what I can tell you is you should mark your calendar for September 25th. It's going to be an awesome event at Hap Flint at 2050 South Linden Road in Flint Township. Right. And um, we are going to have uh, food trucks to make it fun. Of course, the banner will be there for people to sign. We'll have some activities for the kids to maybe make cards to send to the troops as well. And of course, the sock donation, really, really important. And we'll have lots of the veterans and other agencies in the Genesee County area that have resources and services for vets and active duty. So it'll be a great opportunity to learn more about that. Yeah, and on the 19th, we'll get really into more details. There might be some surprises Mm -hmm. that we're still trying to confirm at this time. And so we're hoping by the 19th, we'll have all those answers for you. So tune in on Sunday, September 19th at 7.30 a.m. here on The Facts. And we should have more information for you on that. So anything else that HAP has going on? Because I know you do nothing. Right, right I know. I'm sitting here waiting. I wish I had something to do. No, we are so active in the community. We have been uh, very active in the vaccination effort, of course, here in Flint, coordinating with the Genesee County Health Department. But I have an interesting story. So Sam Cox, who is a, a McDonald's yeah. owner-operator here mm-hmm. in town, yeah. um, he brought us in to uh, assist with some activities there around vaccination. And that's led to us doing similar activities with the McDonald's in Detroit. Awesome. So we are doing some great things with the Henry Ford Health System and their mobile unit to get out there in, in Detroit and try to help make a difference and get more people vaccinated. We'll, we'll probably have more info maybe when we talk again about how those of us who um, might be needing a booster can get that and we'll be creating some events to help people make that easy for people. But it's been so gratifying to see the partnerships that have developed. Um, the, the way that the McDonald's owner operators have really stepped up to provide a place for this type of activity, support for the volunteers at these types of activities, and most of all, helping to make um, getting a vaccination a positive and fun experience. So that's really been our focus and something I think we'll be still looking at for quite a time now. Yeah. You know, hey, even my daughter got a vaccination and she hates needles. Absolutely <laughs> hates them. So if, 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 if she can take the jab, you can too. So... 
Well, I mean, it's sure better than the alternative. <laughs> yeah, That's it's what better. I keep yeah, thinking, exactly, right? exactly, yeah. exactly. And you know, so I want to thank you, but the time just rolls by when it's me and you talking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For Oopsie. you listeners, you know, we can't talk at all. We're very shy. But um, <laughs> let's. It was great having you here, and we're going to have you back on the 19th to talk more about the Veterans uh, Salute the Troops event, and we hope everybody listens in then. So thanks Terrific. for coming. Terrific. Thanks, Tracy. Right. Bye. Get us at discoverflinttownship at gmail.com, or you can visit us on Facebook at Flint Township Events, and that's F-L-I-N-T-T-W-P-E-V-E-N-T-S, and you can find out about all the events going on in our area. You can also get us on our YouTube channel or our anchor channel, both our Discover Flint Township. Uh, you can visit our webpage, discoverflinttownship.com or flinttownship.org. And I want to thank our partners, HAP, Shea Automotive Group, Financial Plus Credit Union, Guaranteed Rate, and 103.9 The Fox. And discover Flint Township with us here next week at 7.30 on Sunday, right here on The Fox, 103.9. This is Tracy Tucker, the Flint Township Economic Enhancement Director, and I would like to remind everyone... Stay safe, stay healthy, shop local, buy local, and discover Flint Township. We'll catch you later. This has been Discover Flint Township with Tracy Tucker. For more information, visit discoverflinttownship.com. Flint Township is ready for your next move. The preceding program was pre recorded and was paid for by Discover Flint Township. The views expressed are those of Discover Flint Township and do not necessarily reflect the views of 103.9 The Fox or Krill Communications, Inc.